Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to connect your Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 7 to a monitor with HDMI for Samsung DeX. So you can see here I have Samsung DeX and Samsung DeX is this feature of some top-end Samsung phones that lets you plug your phone into a monitor to use it as a sort of computer. You can see it is fully functional here. I can do whatever I want. And um, for that, you can connect it with either USB-C cable or HDMI. I'll talk about the USB-C shortly, but in like in a short way, but of course the USB-C isn't that big of a thing uh, in this video because uh, the video is about HDMI. So USB-C, if your monitor supports USB-C uh, for video input, then you can simply connect USB-C to your Samsung uh, on the on the like USB-C port. And then on the other end, it'll be USB-C on the monitor. And it's very convenient because mo those monitors sometimes also support charging. So your phone can be both charged uh, at the same time while using Samsung DeX. Like this monitor that I have right here supports uh, charging through uh, the USB-C port. So it can both like display image from it and charge my phone up to 65 watts which isn't supported by the phone like the phone supports less but like the phone, the monitor that i have right here supports 65 watts now if you want to connect it with hdmi there are cables on the market that are from usb-c to hdmi so that's really great but that doesn't let you charge your device HDMI doesn't support charging at all. So uh, if you want your device to get charged, then what I would recommend is using a solution like me. I have this adapter plugged into the, uh, into the phone. You can see HDMI is already plugged into it. Then there are more, more ports here. There's USB-C which says PD, which means power delivery, so we can charge my device through this port. There's data USB-C port, two USB-A ports, and the Ethernet port. You don't have to have so many ports, but of course it's worth having like some additional USB ports, so you can plug in some USB drives or keyboard and mouse. Of course, keyboard and mouse can be also connected through uh, Bluetooth. So like I would personally recommend getting a USB-C uh, to HDMI and USB-C. So you can still charge your phone even though it's plugged into that HDMI port. Then on the other end, you just need to plug it into your computer. And also if you're uh, in your, into your monitor, not computer, Mm, and also, if like your monitor doesn't support HDMI, it probably supports DisplayPort or VGA or DVI, and you can also get like adapters like this, like the one that I have plugged in here. You can see it. Mm. You can ca get cables like this, like for the VGA, DVI, or DisplayPort, or if you already have like this adapter, then you can also get a cable from, for example, HDMI to DVI. There's so many options here. And once it's done, this display will show up on your screen. As you can see, then on your phone, you can open a touchpad to use your phone as a touchpad by simply clicking on this button in the bottom left corner. If you don't have this uh, like square button here, then go to notifications by sliding from the top left. And then you'll see open touchpad notification here. But I'm just going to this notification, like to this button in the bottom. Then I can like move my finger across the screen and you can see it does move on the monitor. And your phone now, now functions as a 
sort of computer. I hope that this video was helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe, see you in the next one.